Well, Mike, the water may look relatively calm on the surface here, but authorities say don't let that fool you. Bedford firefighters say they were prepared to use their swift water techniques to jump in and make rescues today if they needed to. Now that fortunately after that canoe capsized, everyone on board was able to make it safely to shore. Officials say they were part of a group of nine people who were camping on the island out here. They decided they had had enough and they wanted to go home overnight. Bedford firefighters were prepared with training and equipment to go out into that water. They have received training like this happening today, teaching firefighters and even civilians swift water rescue techniques. This is just day one. We're doing a lot of defensive swimming, offensive swimming. Uh, they're pack practicing throwing throw bags out, so if a victim is coming downstream, our first choice would not be to jump in the water and try to rescue them. It would be try to throw things to them and rescue them. Mm -hmm. uh, jumping in the water in a dangerous situ situation would be one of our last resorts. Now that group that you just saw there actually gets deployed nationwide to help in hurricane swift water rescues across the country. But those firefighters who learn those techniques are able to take that training back to their own departments like the Bedford Fire Department. Live along the Merrimack tonight, I'm Sharice LeClaire, WMUR News 9.